I am a Toho player who relies quite a bit more on strategy th uh, than skill in order to stay alive. And in no game is that more apparent than in Perfect Cherry Blossom, specifically because of the cherry point system. Um, hi, here's Alice. Um, well, we'll talk about her later. She appears like four times through the whole stage. But um, So, yeah, cherry Bo Ch uh, Perfect Cherry Blossom has a fairly odd scoring system. You can see the numbers down in the lower left-hand corner. It, the video quality is probably not good enough to tell what the numbers actually say, but when, when my character goes down the lower left-hand corner, you can see some little text there that blurs out. Those are different types of cherry score, and I, I can increase that by picking up those little pink, dusty rose tiles that you see falling to the bottom of the screen, and also by little cherry petal items as well. Now these, um, you see this effect right here, the supernatural border? If your cherry uh, points reach a certain value, I think it's 50,000, um, you get for about five seconds a, a border where you are cannot be hurt. If you're touched by a bullet, you simply lose the border and then all, uh, you gather all bullets on the screen as cherry points. And you can also voluntarily launch that border uh, in order to protect yourself uh, uh, by using the bomb key. And you don't actually use a bomb when you do that, but you can, you know, abort the border prematurely. If you neither get hit nor use the border prematurely, then you get a significant score bonus. But for a person like me who plays more often, <laughs> fitting what that just happened, who plays more often to survive, despite what you just saw there, uh, who plays more often to survive than to get a good score, um, I, I tend to use the borders in order to protect myself rather than to score well with it. Now this, you can see this coming about as, in the fact that I do not focus as often when I'm fighting the bosses. Whenever I don't need the focused movement in order to protect myself, I, I have, I'm unfocused because attacking something unfocused builds your cherry points faster than when you are focused and allows you to get more of those supernatural borders. Now, so here, you can watch how I use this here. The supernatural border, you know, is a chance to stay invulnerable for as long as it lasts. And then a good strategic role to play is to launch the border voluntarily to, you know, to bomb it out um, immediately before you lose the border, I mean, like right before the five seconds is up. Now, um, the point to this is that, of course, whenever you launch the border, it clears all the bullets off the screen. So give, this gives you a maximum period of time of invulnerability. Like, you have a maximum period of time when you're free to navigate from really, really dense bullet patterns and you'll see me do quite a bit more of that in the later levels um, now about Alice here um, Alice is another really good example of the disparity between um, canon and fanon uh, depictions of her character in canon um, she's often depicted as a girl who's really kind of selfish and recluded secluded and she doesn't care that much she tries not to show that she cares that much about every other people she's somewhat of a coward at heart she does her best to avoid danger and she's all kind of proud and in this battle she's just really showing off there was no real reason for her to attack me she's just trying to put her power up against my own and she doesn't use all of her power even she's admittedly holding back so that you know when she loses she can say oh well, it wasn't my fault I was just holding back and now in in Fanon, however, her her personality could not be more juxtaposed juxtaposed to that. Um, she is so so often depicted as a character who is um, meek and and shy and just absolutely desperate for the affection of the other characters, most especially Marissa. And yeah, she killed me pretty brutally there. Um, and. I guess this goes to show that the community, um, in, its, in its, uh, its interpretation of things, has its own motives, entirely separate from what gets told about in canon. Um, now, one of those motives, the most important of those motives, we'll discuss on a little bit of a later level here, but um, for right now it's fair to say that if we, can, if we as fans can get our hands on some emotional drama, then by golly are we ever going to do that, because boy, we would love nothing more than the fact of a really, really cute you know, blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl like Alice, who is really talented in the Puppet Master and everything, to be affectionate like that. Oh, and also, I love this background music. This boss song, Zune hasn't done anything else like this ever. It's like really creepy cool, and that's so rare for him. <laughs> 